Le Chappelle, I'm a photographer. Uh, been working, uh, starting galleries uh, with my photographs. Um, when I was 17, first job was uh, with uh, Andy Warhol's interview. Um, when Andy was alive and uh, worked there for four years until Andy died um, and then started working more for magazines than galleries and did that um, did music videos, um, feature film and but stills really is my passion and gallery exhibition work museums. I, I was bullied in school in high school so I dropped out moved to New York and um, I got to I got to attend uh, my last uh, two years and kind of kick it around New York from 15 to 17 and then I went to this luckily luckily I got into this art school in North Carolina based on my drawings and paintings and there I learned photography um, came back to New York and you know I, I fell in love with photography immediately and I started uh, showing um, in galleries and I would turn my friend's apartment you know, into a gallery and stuff like that and you just have to make your, your own work. You call yourself a photographer even before you really, I had a camera, I just started calling myself a photographer so it's sort of, you put that out there and you just work really hard. I never became a photographer for the lifestyle, for the, for the money or for some sort of notoriety. I did it because I wanted to give the world something. I had to wake up in the morning and give myself assignments. I had to set, give myself deadlines. I had to make gallery shows where none existed. I had to, had to shoot pictures when nobody wanted them. I had to create opportunity and create photographs when there was no demand for them because nobody knew who I was. So, you know, that, that, that takes a lot of uh, self-discipline and ambition. Luckily, I had nothing else to fall back on. So I either had to make it or I didn't know what, you know. My mom always said I was going to be homeless. That always stood in the back of my head. I'm going to be homeless. I'm going to be homeless. So <laughs> I didn't want that to happen. So it made me work really hard. Inspiration uh, isn't something like, you know, that you want to appropriate. You want to go steal from somebody else or like look at the latest fashion magazine and do what they're doing. Someone's already doing that. So you want to find your own voice. And, and, and how you do that is just, just keep working and and uh and and really find out what it is that excites you